So we looked at security controls in terms of authentication. Now let's look at security control from authorization perspective. So authorization is controlled through IAM. And some of the key IAM primitives are uh, resources. So any cloud object that a company employs create and use when interacting with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure resources for example, services, uh, for example, compute instances, block storage, VCN, subnet, route table, all of these are example of resources. Tenancy or tenant, a tenant is basically uh, a company account. So that's the, the main account that anybody who subscribes to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Resources gets. Uh, one key thing that comes with a tenancy is a root compartment. So we talked about compartments and how they can help organize and isolate resources. Um, root compartment is basically the top level compartment uh, that comes with when a tenant is created. Uh, resources, all resources can be created in root compartment, though it's highly discouraged. And the reason is that it will defeat the, the purpose of having compartments. Uh, to isolate and organize resources as if everything is created in root compartment. And compartment, as we saw, is basically a logical container to organize and isolate resources. Every resource that is created in Oracle Cloud infrastructure belongs to a compartment. A dynamic group is a collection of instances. A group is a collection of users. And then we have IAM policies. And as we saw, IAM policies specify who can do what across your OCI account or within a specific compartment. It's a very, very human readable um, uh, format. For example, here we see allow group, some group to manage certain, certain things across the tenancy. Or we can have a policy such as allowed dynamic group, certain dynamic group to perform certain actions in a compartment. So as you can see, the keyword goes from tenancy to compartment. When we use the keyword tenancy, it means across the entire OCI account. When we use the keyword compartment, that basically means that they will, whoever its policy is assigned to will be restricted only to a certain area of the tenancy. So here's a high level view of compartments and how it helps us organize resources. In this case, we can see the first root compartment is the tenancy. There is the, the compartment that every other compartment is created under. We have groups that has users. Uh, we write policy to restrict users in a group to perform certain ac actions across, across certain area of your account or your entire account. Of course, we also have federated login. So any kind of IDCS, uh, if, there is approved, if um, there's a company that is using approved IDCS provider, you can have federated login as well, rather than using uh, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure's IAM login credentials. Here we see there are multiple compartments. There's a compartment called network infrastructure that is running critical applications and services that are required for network operations. So we have load balancers, VCN, dynamic routing gateways, uh, which are used to provide access to Oracle Public Cloud from on-premise. Uh, we have internet gateway, as we saw before. Uh, internet gateways provide access to the internet. Then we have security list. And then we have uh, three other compartments called dev network, test network, and prod network which create, which, which contain specific subnets for these specific compartments. So you can see the policies can be written per compartment level uh, very easily. The third level is specific projects. So here we have three compartments called project A, project B, and project C. And here users have created different resources, compute instances, storage database, and there are policies that govern the govern access to these compartments. And as you can see, this can expand uh, even more. So as you get more uh, groups in, within your organization, they, 
that want to use OCI resources, you can pretty much think of replicating similar uh, structure for those teams as well. So this is how compartments help uh, in terms of isolating resources. And then as we saw, when we are authorizing users that belong to a group, we write the IAM policies and we can restrict them to work across or within a simple, uh, within, a, within a single compartment or multiple compartments. And if there is a need uh, for some users to work, to have access across the entire tenancy, then we can give them that access through IAM policies. So as we see in this um, uh, section, in this module, that authorization, first of all, multiple levels um, of uh, authentic uh, authorizations were seen, and then authentication. And authentication is controlled through IAM policies and then restricting users and group to a specific compartment or letting them create resources across the entire tenancy. And in addition, we can use dynamic groups to provide compute instances access to interact with other OCI resources. In the next lecture, we'll look at security control from resource access perspective.